And now I want to discuss things that are depressing about this platform and Twitter and Tumblr and some other places on the internet where you can say the most positive thing and it will be met with massive amounts of negativity. Now, as I've said already, um, I've been very fortunate in that I've had a lot of decent people subscribing to me and there have been some you know, decent interactions and it hasn't just been a bunch of trolling. But a lot of other people are not so fortunate and when I go around trying to find things that are more positive on YouTube, I sometimes pull the stupid and start to scroll down to look at the comments. And it just seems that anyone, anyone, trying to say positive things about demographics that people criticize in any way trying to say hey you know some some people that are part of this demographic are good people it will be met with just a an influx of negativity even things like you know google has this google music their google music page google music youtube music page I mean, it might as well be called Google this, Google that. It should be called Google Tube because it's not really about you. It's about Google, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, you go to the YouTube music page, and they have these commercials for their their product, their uh, their YouTube music app. And people are just bombarding those things with negativity, and they're getting tons of thumbs down. Just because, well, they're showing this person who cross-dresses uh, and they're not saying bad things about the person. This isn't, so, this isn't them say, you know, trying to cram, uh, oh, these people are wonderful. No, it's just showing someone being themselves and how much music can improve their lives. Nope, tons of negativity. Another one where it's uh, some kid who's riding on a subway and he runs across some people that are that look like they might be some rough characters, but they treat him just fine. And uh, nope, nope, that's unrealistic too. That's that's uh, political correctness, and they're trying to cram all this stuff in our faces. And I'm going, my God. And then there's another one that shows a Muslim woman. And she's she's walking down the hallway, and she's listening to a rap song, and is mouthing some of the lyrics to the lap, rap song. And oh, that's so horrible because it's not portraying a Muslim in a bad way. And I'm just going, is this the point we've become now? Is th is this the point we're at now on this platform? It just seems that there are some people who are. The only thing, the only joy they get out of life is by shitting on other people's joy. And I don't quite get that. It is that very type of thing that creates SJWs. This is the type of thing that makes people go to that side. Quite frankly, seeing that kind of thing too much makes me want to go to that side. Do you think this is a good thing? Do you think I should go to that side? I certainly don't want to. But I'll be honest, if this is the sort of thing that, that, if this is all I can really see anymore on this platform, I might go to that side. And what's sad is, you know, I, I think about how, like, you know, 1968 to about 1979, there were a lot of messages talking about tolerance and peace 
and acceptance. And I imagine that if a lot of these people would that are that are so negative were somehow sent back in time to 1970 that uh, a lot of them would have strokes or something because they'd probably have in their minds there's SJWs everywhere people are preaching tolerance and acceptance I mean, is it just seems like unless someone's towing the Republican line, they're considered an SJW. Any form of acceptance, any form of talking about tolerance, nope, nope, you're just an SJW. And we have to be against that in any form because we can't allow for this. We have to stop this, even things that aren't even harmful. We must stop this. Well, you're creating the people that you're tr trying to speak against. And it's fucking retarded. Have a nice day.